Hey Ally Gamers, there's a nice CPU boost fix going around to reduce your temperatures and get better battery life. Then this is a fairly simple fix as you can see here. On the left is before the change and on the right without. You can see our wattage on the APU is slightly lower and so is our battery wattage significantly as well as slightly lower temperatures as well. And this is a very simple fix of changing your power plan settings. Unfortunately, the setting that you want is not visible by default. So if you do go into your power plan settings looking for a turbo boost setting, unfortunately, you will not find it by default. Fortunately, thanks to MPDT4321 on Reddit, they put the red settings on how to do this. So this is very simple. First of all, you need to open up the run command from quick search and in the run box type reg edit. Once this comes up, accept the user account control prompt or run this with administrator rights. I will post the key in the description, but I will also post the full link here so you can give credit to the user. Copy the very last section after the last backslash. And then go into Reg Edit and under Edit, click Find, paste in that key, and it should take you directly to the value. You can verify the setting by scrolling down to see which is in the blue highlight. You then want to change the attribute to value 2. Once you've changed that and hit OK so the box closes, you can go back into the Edit Power Plan settings by searching for power plan in Windows and go to edit power plan, then click the changed advanced power settings. Now under processor power management, you will have a processor performance boost mode option to change. Now by default, this is on aggressive on all power modes, but you want to change this to disabled. Do this for each of the power settings so that when you toggle, you get that change and you will get much better battery life and lower temperatures all round. Now this will work for pretty much all instances. However, if you are playing games which are CPU bound or have incredibly high CPU usage, then you will want to go back and enable this. So the examples that we've been given is for things like emulation that uses a lot of CPU, then you will want to keep that turbo boost on, but do watch your temperatures. As you can see in the first section, with the 15 watt performance mode, our battery was staying under 20 watts and our temperature around 60 degrees, not much higher. And when we go into our turbo mode, we get the full APU wattage and our battery stays around 42 watts, but our temperatures also stay under 80 degrees. These were using the default modes without additional fan curves, so you can get that even better with the fan curves, which is also going to be improved with an upcoming BIOS. That's how to disable the CPU boost and get a bit more battery life and performance out of your ally. Let us know in the comments below if this has had a positive or negative effect, depending on the game you're playing. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.